In case you missed it, I started my Road to Glory uh, College Football 25, and I am playing the life of Alex Irving Jr. Alex Irving Sr., his father, was a legendary quarterback at Mississippi State. If you don't know Alex's father, look it up on YouTube. It was phenomenal. Now I'm living in his shadow, but I am a running back. I'm a halfback. And I'm trying to build a legacy for myself. I had the opportunity to go to Mississippi State, and I said, no, I'm not going to go to the same school my father went to. And now I find myself as a corn husker for Nebraska. So this has been my road to glory. This is my episode two. So here we go. Hey, we take a closer look at the life of a young athlete who's facing a new chapter in his life. Meet Alex Irving Jr. He's a promising running back at Nebraska, but his journey to the heartland hasn't been all smooth sailing. Alex grew up on the Jersey Shore. Imagine waking up every morning to the sound of the waves crashing, the salty breeze filling the air and playing football on the sandy beaches with friends. That's the life Alex knew and loved. But now, Alex finds himself far from the ocean, surrounded by endless cornfields in Nebraska. It's a drastic change and it's not easy. He misses the beach, the friends, and the vibrant life of New Jersey. Here in Nebraska, he often feels lonely and out of place. However, Alex isn't just any athlete. He's the son of a football legend. His father had an incredible career and there's a lot of pressure on Alex to follow in those footsteps. Every day, he laces up his cleats and hits the practice field, determined to make his mark. Football is his escape and his passion. On the field, he feels at home, working tirelessly on his game, pushing himself to be better, faster, and stronger. The empty fields of Nebraska might seem dull, but to Alex, they are the perfect canvas for his dreams. But it's not all about football. Alex also juggles his studies, balancing the demands of being a student athlete. The classrooms might be different from the beaches he's used to, but Alex knows that education is just as important as his athletic career. He hits the books with the same intensity he brings to the field. It's a challenge, no doubt. But Alex's determination and drive are unshakable. He knows that greatness requires sacrifices and that this lonely chapter is just a part of his journey. So as he navigates the cornfields of Nebraska, he keeps his eyes on the prize, the legacy of his father and his own dreams of success fuel his every step. And while he might be far from the beaches of New Jersey, his heart remains strong, his spirit unbroken. Alex Irving Jr. is not just adjusting to college life, he's embracing it, tackling it head on with courage and resilience. His story reminds us that no matter where we are, our dreams and determination can lead us to greatness. So the next time you feel out of place or overwhelmed by change, Remember Alex's journey from the Jersey Shore to the Nebraska cornfields. Embrace the challenges, stay focused on your goals, and keep pushing forward. So, another week on campus, and there's nothing to do in Nebraska. So, of course, I've just been training as much as possible to be the best version of myself. But it doesn't always come easy. but I'm doing whatever it takes to stay busy in Nebraska. Some weeks are better than others. I'm gonna try to turn this thing around real quick. And I'll allow him to block for me. Keep it moving. Sometimes I gotta just let him do his thing and then I go. So let's take a look at the weekly agenda. And I'm thinking I gotta really focus on my academics. My exam is in five weeks. I'm gonna spend some time hitting up the books. Bring that up a notch. My leadership, I could also bring that up too. I'm not gonna lie to you. My training, we gonna come back to that. Right now I'm gonna focus on those academics because if I get my GPA too low, I'm not gonna be able to play. That's the most important thing right now to me. Let's take a look at my team schedule right now. So, you know, we had the bye week. We got the W here and at Colorado. And my next game, we are facing uh, FCS Northwest. 
Illinois, Purdue, Rutgers, October 5th. Mark it on the calendar, okay? You guys know I'm from New Jersey, and Rutgers didn't even care about me. They didn't even care to bring me on as their top dog. And you know what? I'm marking that one on my calendar because I'm a, I guarantee a big game October 5th against Rutgers. Then we got a buy after that. We're looking at Indiana. <gasps> October 26th. This is like our season right here against Ohio State. If we can beat Ohio State, we can make some noise. UCLA, another decent school. Then another buy. USC, that's going to be a big one too. Wisconsin, we got to win that one. And Iowa. Oh, man. So it's going down. FCS Northwest, the Sharks against us, the Cornhuskers. Let's go. All right, baby. Nebraska. It's that time. You know, we ready. Ready, I'm excited. And I still haven't heard from my father, Alex Irving. I'm Alex Irving Jr. But my father, a legendary quarterback at Mississippi State. I have yet to hear from him, but it is only my third week away here in college. So here we go. Can't go all the way. I got to get that first down. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. They'll give it to the back. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes, dude. Right now, I don't know what's possessed me, but I'm feeling it right now. I'm feeling good. I caught that ball immediately. I had to do my thing. And we're getting closer and closer. Oh my gosh. Need a score. Oh my gosh, yes! Touchdown! Let's go! All right, guys. I didn't score the touchdown, but we did it. Yes, so we got a touchdown. And, oh, my gosh, he kept his feet in. Look at the – you saw those feet? Sweet. All right, let's go. This is happening. It's happening, okay? I still feel like the first game jitters is already my third game. Here we go. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Let's go. Okay, I'm feeling fired up, baby. And you know what that means. Oh, my gosh. Right up the middle. I saw that opening. I said, yo, I got to go for it. Oh, my God. Jen, really? Oh my gosh, I stank up a storm right there. It's all right, it's all right. Sometimes you don't make those mistakes. It's okay. Alex, he's still a freshman. It's all right. Oh my God, damn it. I try to get too fancy. Oh my gosh. Injury? Who got hurt? Oh my God, I got scared. Dude, I got scared for a second. I thought it was me. I was about to say, no, my career. But it wasn't me. It was some other dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. All right. We got, we got the first down. We just need to get this goal. Okay. I could do this. I know I can do this. All right. A lot of pressure right now. I got to do this. <gasps> yes! Let's go! Touchdown! That's me! Let's go! Alex Irvin Jr. Remember the name, baby. Oh my gosh. I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was like looking. I'm still feeling like a freshman. I'm still feeling that inexperience. But we made it work. We made it happen. We're creating a legacy. This is history in the making. You best believe that. Okay. Bro, get off me, bro. Are you serious? What a dirt bag. It's all right. He's trying to just, he's trying to hinder my shine, and he's not going to hinder my shine. I'm telling y'all right now, he's not hindering my shine. You're not hindering my shine, bro. Relax. 
he not hindering my shine. Like, okay, I remember this play. Oh my God. History, let's do it. Oh my God, so close, so close. Second and one. Oh my gosh, yes, let me just run in there. I could do this. All right, this right here. I gotta, I gotta do this, guys. Oh my God! Yes, touchdown! Let's go! Oh my gosh, guys! I had to like squeeze in there. I had to really power through, but we did it. We got it. We got another TD. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling right. But you know, in college football, it's like. It's not over until the fat lady starts singing at the end. And she hasn't sang just yet in Nebraska. But this is a good start. I got to make something here. Oh, my gosh. This is a terrible position to be in. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. I got that first down. Sweet. My gosh. Oh, my gosh. My teammates are killing it. Are you kidding me? Dude, what is happening right now? My teammates are killing it. Dude, Nebraska's on fire, man. I think I brought the party to Nebraska. See, you know, I could do a little step here and there, but if it ain't necessary, we don't need it. Far, you know, whatever I've been doing has been working. Everybody's eyes going one direction. They go back the other way. Nice execution by the offense to make the big running play down the field. You're, 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 you're. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. I'm telling y'all, it's been working. Alex Irvin Jr. just got the genes of his dad. I don't know what it is. Is that speed boost? Is in his veins. Look at me, going wild with it. Oh. In there, let's go. Sweet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gotta, gotta take that. Take it with me. Take it with me. Damn, 41-0. We are spanking them. Alex Irvin. That's Junior. That ain't even his daddy. Oh, my gosh. Coach is keeping me in, even despite the blowout. I don't mind. Oh, my God. We faked him. Dude, we faked him. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. <gasps> wow. Dude, we're definitely having a corn tonight. Yo, it's crazy in Nebraska right now. We are getting this W. 55-0 is embarrassing. Don't even show up to Nebraska ever again. Look at us. Yo, my teammates are wilding right now. They are going crazy. Yeah, they sat me out that fourth quarter. I ain't even mad at it. 56, dude. We went crazy. I never want to see these guys in Nebraska again. Get out of our house. That's it. Finito. 235 rushing yards and three TDs. I did pretty solid, but I did have some mistakes in this game. I'm not going to lie. I'm still having them rookie mistakes, still trying to get my groove, still trying to find out where I fit in in this offense. But Alex Irvin Jr., man, he's looking promising. He's looking promising here as a corn husker. And it has been amazing. Oh, what a beat down. So this was the final result against um, the final result against FCS Northwest, 0-56. to 56. I never want to see these guys show up in, to Nebraska ever again because that was such a beatdown. It was a spanking. It was an annihilation. It was like we spit in their face. Wow. Time to advance in the week. Defensive tackle. Hey, man, has anyone told you about the NIL deals? 
see what he wants the deals you might get early on could be okay but they'll get better as you get older just an fyi not every deal is worth your time it's okay to be picky yeah bro i hear you he was giving me that advice but i already knew that because i already turned down a deal let me see you have one of your first big tests of the year in act economics class this week our office is available for assistance are you going to come in to study uh yes i need to study a lot i need to make sure i'm prepared for this economics test guys i don't know much about economics i need to get all the studying possible so you know i was going to show up to study Oh my gosh, guys, this is a huge game for us. We're going up against Illinois. And Illinois was a like school that was interested in me. So this is huge. I need to have a big game. They were interested in me, and I turned them down to come to Nebraska. This is crunch time, man. This is where I got to really show up and show out. The last thing I want for Alex Irvin Jr. is for these schools that wanted me to say that they're doing better without me. That is just not going to be the case. All right, so practice. You know that's what I was going to do. Got to get this practice in. And here at practice, honestly, this is where I should be testing out some of my other moves. Like juking a little bit. And doing some spin moves and stuff. I should be trying that out here in practice. And I will. Right now I got to get these TDs to get the multiplier up. So just another week on campus. We got to get ready for Illinois. There's not a lot to do on campus. You know, this is just Nebraska. There's not much to do in Nebraska. We're in the middle of nowhere. But I like it here. Because I, I get to stay focused. I'm going to look at the weekly agenda. And right now, I'm looking pretty decent when it comes to my academics. Definitely want to get my health all the way. And we're going to hit up the books one more time. Now I'm looking prepared, guys. I have to get this exam down packed. Economics is going to be a big deal. My exam is in four weeks. It'll be here before you know it. So I'm officially prepared. I made sure to also take care of my health, my physique. My leadership will come with time. So we're not too worried about that right now. You know, it is what it is. And all this other stuff, we're going to finish. We're going to deal with that later. The brand will come you know with a little bit of time but for now most important is academics and keeping myself healthy because without my health they ain't no wealth let's keep it moving what are the top stories the top 25 rankings which college football teams are ranked early in the season okay so we went from 23 all the way to 17 this is big for nebraska guys like we are climbing up the ranks, and I really, really want us to keep going higher and higher. A ranked versus an unranked, and you know they're going to want to take this W, and we cannot allow it. I need to have a really good game. I need to show them what they missed out on, and that's what I'm looking to do right here. Illinois wanted me, but I chose not to go there, and I came here to Nebraska instead, and I'm going to show you why in this game. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. Oh my gosh, enough for the first down. I had to get out of that sticky situation and I did. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You're, 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 oh snap, let's get it. Let's get it, I came prepared, I came prepared. I told you I was going to tell them what they missed out on. Okay, I told you I was going to do my thing in this game, and I meant it. I meant it. I meant it. I meant it. We're going to get it right. We're going to get it right. On the gridiron, guys, you got to do things, and you got to do it right. And right there, I didn't do it right. 
But it's okay. We're going to make those mistakes. Like, I want to make those mistakes my freshman year. And just hope for the best. Gain that experience. All right, here we go. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I got to get in there. I got to get in there. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Alex with the TD. You know that's me, and that's going to keep happening here in Nebraska. I told you this was going to be a big game for me. I had to do my thing. I had to dance on him real quick. Take a look at the highlights right here, man. You know, I'm still a little nervous. I'm still young. I'm still making mistakes, but I'm getting it done and I'm doing it right. Man, I'm really happy for my teammate. He has been killing it. I could tell he really trying to make it to the league. He's going to take the strength of a thousand men to try to bring me down. Stop it. Stop it. The strength of a thousand men to try to take me out. <laughs> Get about it. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Nebraska's on fire, guys. It's not even just me. It's my team. Like, yo, we're really out here playing like a team. And you love to see it. You're, 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 you're. Yo, I'm out. 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 Bro. Oh, my God. You're so lucky. You're so lucky. Dude, I was going crazy right there, chat. Dude, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so close. It's okay. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. Did he throw a pick? Are you kidding? Bro through a freaking pick. Get your life together. Oh, my God. God, that's the first pick he threw this season. Oh, my God, bro. He's effing up the Nebraska name. Are you kidding me? He better. Oh, my God. No way. Back here. Give to the running back. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. We need to score something, man. I'm, trying to, I'm tired of this. We trying to be taken serious. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Keep going. Oh my gosh. You can't even do that. You can't even do that. Are you kidding me? What you thought? That I wasn't going to swerve him? Like I wasn't going to cross him over like AI back in the day? Stop playing with me. I went swoop, swoop. Don't worry. We're going to get right. 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 Touchdown. That, yo, that's what we needed. Let's go. The Corn Huskers. Let's go. Dude, the team is teaming, okay? The team is teaming right now. Yo, I got to go. 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 Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I know they stinging. Ooh. They're not going to say, ooh, Chavo is going to be, ooh, Alex. Fuck. Nah, they ain't going to say that. Oh, yes, they are. No, they ain't. <laughs> but. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Open space at the 25. Oh, my God. I told you I needed a TD, and I served it to you on a platter, baby. 
Let's go. I told you I was going to have a big game here against Illinois. This was a school that wanted me, and I said, hold up, hold up. I'm heading to Nebraska. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to stare at me. Stare at me. Stare at me. That's greatness, baby. Oh, my gosh. Snug my way in there. Put it on my resume. It's time to do my dance, baby. Do my dance. Let's go. Illinois, man. Y'all going to remember me. Now we know why you wanted me. Let's go. Alex Irvin Jr., just a freshman. I'm in the game, killing the game, doing my thing. And I'm just preparing myself for the bigger games on the calendar, believe it or not. I'm making the mistakes now so that I could be ready for that Rutgers game October 5th. So I could be ready for that Ohio State game. That's the season October 26th. I got it marked on my calendar. I'm like mentally prepared. I got this exam in four weeks. There's not much to do in the middle of nowhere here in Nebraska. But I am the show. I am the party in Nebraska. Stop playing with me. Stop it. You know I'm in here bow arrow to the screen, baby. Oh, my gosh. I brought the life of the party to Nebraska, man. We putting it on the mat. Dude, I'm just racking it up. Racking it up. Racking it up. Oof. I found just a space, and I decided to just take it. I had to just try to get past these guys somehow, some way. Illinois wanted me, and I turned them down. I got to show them what they missed out on. And that's what Alex Irvin Jr. is doing. We put it in work like never before. Bro, get off me. You're not even on my level. Stop it. Stop it. I'm untouchable. I told you guys that today I was going to come out here the best of the best. I'm putting on the best performance. I'm out here to send a message. Nebraska is on the map. We eating corn tonight. <laughs> Maybe Rutgers didn't need a running back. Are you kidding me, Frank? Who would pass out on me? I don't care who they had. I don't care who Rutgers had. They should have been looking for me. And I'm going to make them regret it come October 5th. Once I step on that gridiron, bro, it's over. It is over. It is over. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Oof. Oh my gosh, yes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They're gonna ride this running back. Oh my gosh, guys, they are literally like giving me everything. They're giving me everything right now. <laughs> Yo, this is so crazy. Oh, my gosh, man. They really trusted in me. But I'm taking a lot of wear and tear on my body right now. Don't fix what ain't broke, right? First down. Yo, my coach is just believing in me right now. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Damn, we pouring it on them. We trying to pour it on them. I'm going to try a little something right here. Instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. The give to the right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Then I'm trying my best to just make it. There's only three seconds left. What more does Coach want? Dude, Coach was like really pouring it on him. But hey, listen, we came out with the win 62 24. I told you guys I wanted to have a big game against Illinois, a school that wanted me. Look at me, man. 439 rushing yards, five TDs. I was wilding out there today. I wanted to have one of the biggest performances of my career, and that is what I came out to do. I did make some mistakes in this game, though. You know, I'm still making some rookie mistakes, bumping into some guys. I'm still learning how to juke. I'm still learning how to spin. But I'm going to keep trying in, at practice so I can bring it to the big games. I'm marking some games. October is a big month for my guy. And, man, another one for the books.
look at this guys i told you i took a lot of wear and tear in that game coach just kept putting me out there pouring it on nebraska is on an impressive win streak what's the biggest contributing factor to your success uh here's a reporter take all the credit credit the fans credit the coaches credit my teammates man the coach has been doing great don't get me wrong the play's been solid but it's all about the team yo my tight end the quarterback despite his one pick that pissed me off it's the team bro we have an excellent group of leaders we set a high level of expectation for the younger ones and that brings us stability. we all deserve credit for this my leadership goes up man my teammates are gonna appreciate that but it's because real recognize real and i recognize what my teammates are doing you see your test grade you did pretty well check out your gpa to see if it raised at all oh and don't forget about midterms on week eight don't put off preparing for those oh, man I, my gpa went up sweet so not only am i performing at a high level on the field but also in the classroom let's go Big 10 Offensive Player of the Week. Oh, my God, guys. This is huge. Oh, my God. This is a huge moment. Guys, I am the Offensive Player of the Week for the Big 10. This is so big. I had a big performance. I set that goal for myself. Five TDs, 439 rushing yards. Like, I wasn't expecting to go all out like that. But against Illinois, a school that wanted me, I needed to go all out. Hopefully my dad can contact me and maybe he's impressed with what he sees. National Offensive Player of the Week? You're kidding! Bro, this is crazy. Like, I'm literally at the top of the world right now. This is crazy. Right, guys, so next time you see me, we're going to be taking on Purdue. Let's check out the top stories. No love loss. Clemson. They're going to be taking... Oh, no. Clemson defeated NC State. Wow, that's crazy. So Clemson, which is 16, they defeated their rival, which is NC State. And that is ranked number 23. I remember when we were ranked 23, but we've been doing pretty good. Top 25. So right now, I... I'm going to scroll down. We were ranked 23, and now we're ranked 17. So my goal was to bring up that rank. And USC is actually 23 now. Iowa, is, Iowa State is 25. Texas, 24. USC is 23. Wisconsin's still at 22, which is actually kind of interesting. And we are in Nebraska at 17. Right now, Michigan is still one, Ohio State two, Oregon three. This is what it's looking like. Next time you see me, we're going to do this game right here against Purdue. And I got to be prepared. It says uh, Coach Mike Porter says the Cornhuskers are ready for the challenge of taking on the Boilermakers on their home turf. Oh, man, this is going to be crazy.